鸭子。Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the in the world. My name is Bukusiaga, and welcome to my channel. If you are if you are new, hey, how are ya? If you are a new subscriber, hey, how are ya? I know you missed me, cause I know I missed you. So welcome back. In today's video, everybody, I will be addressing the elephant in the in the room. Um, I'm addressing my my absence on YouTube and why I'm gone. Basically, sort of also on like updates and stuff like that. So if you further without further ado, follow me on all social media platforms. I will just see Yaga Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And I think what's going on was true with what the motherfucking video. <laughs> My absence. I know I've been gone for about nine months. For like for like six months. It's five months actually, technically, because I last posted. But I last post <laughs> since then. Um, actually, that video was not meant to come out. Actually, it was meant to come out, but earlier than that. A lot of things about it that I didn't um, get to do. But I was actually because I played that that video. The video uploaded it a month before. No, a week, three weeks before that time. It meant to come out the week after. So that happened, and then school deteriorated my mental health. So I just forgot about YouTube. I forgot about everything. Everything just went downhill. By the way, I am using a camera. I got this camera. Again, month before, two months before the video going to come out, vibes, hence quality will change. And also, the video that I was supposed to do then, because the, I went to I went to Durban that time, and I came arrived while I was in Durban. So I did film that whole portion of Durban. They're gonna have to call them for such a minute. Is that doing his coco? Is that doing his coco? It was like a good bluff. So we changed locations. We are now. Touchdowns on your runway. I'm Texas forever, like Bob Man. I'm Rambo in the O. I'm Billy and Rick, like John Jack. I'm Camo in the O. He stops, can't stop me now, dad. You wish I was your pound pick. Boy, you know I look good at four. Wish I was your baby mom. Want me to go around and give you good karma, but no. We escalate up in this bitch like elevators. Of course, sometimes shit go down when it's a billion dollars on an elevator. Oh, to do a a video dump of like my whole year but we'll get into that and why that didn't happen as well <laughs> anywho then after that just a bit explaining what happened within the month of, of, of november december jan feb and now school happens so in that period of time in uh, october november there was a lot of happening that was my last term my fourth term in school second semester fourth term there's a lot of things are happening my mental went down. I lost myself completely. Everything was all gone. I lost everything. I couldn't smile anymore. I couldn't laugh. Genuinely laugh. I couldn't. I always wore this mask. Everything was okay. But matter of fact, nothing was okay. Nothing was looking nice. Like nothing was cute. 
then when I thought my mental health I could, I could maintain and not maintain it but I could control it everything just fell apart right so I was in a specific not get the detail but those are dilemmas that happen in my fourth term that I had to let go of and I had to leave off from and get into a new one get into that new one help me perspective and put it my, my life together but after that after school closed in December, December was just a time for me. Time to December, December and Fe, December and Jan were a big two months of refinding myself and not picking up any camera or nothing. Cause I didn't shoot content for two months straight. Uh, I was started posting I think in Feb on Instagram uh, and TikTok. So I was posting TikTok now in Jan. I would have times where I would just sit, just not do anything and change those or change my ways then. From from then, I've actually regained my strength back. But over those two months, I took a break. I, it wasn't an intentional break, actually. It was not intentional, actually. So bring back to November, December, because of the circumstances that have happened. Let me tell you what happened. My laptop, right? By the time I was using it, I used it and then I went back, I went to sleep. I came back in the morning, the screen is just blank. It doesn't want to work anymore. And I was panicking. I want to use my, 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 my parents, my mom's laptop, but that laptop just was slow. Couldn't do anything on it. And also my hard drive is permitted to be used only on an Apple device. So MacBook, iMac, Mac Studio, whatever it is, it just has to be Mac. Because I tried using any other laptop, it doesn't work. To use it, I have to format everything, leave everything on it, so it can be erased to be used on that specific device. I was. So over I found that out, beginning of December, in the middle of December, because the first two weeks were rough. I decided to just take a break and not do any social media at all anymore. I almost can't, I didn't say I'm not gonna do Instagram, I'm not gonna do TikTok, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna focus on myself, focus on bringing myself back to the world, bring myself back to myself. Beginning of December, going back to December now, I was sick. I had the mumps. I put a clip of one day I shot a video of my mumps. It was terrible. It was a terrible time. It was something I was also confused about because I was like, how did I get it? Because it's an airborne um, disease. It's an airborne disease. I was. So those two weeks, those three weeks actually, I was just in bed all the time because I was isolated. I um, must be alone in my room. So those times, it's me, and my, me and my phone. My laptop was dead, of course. Me and my phone, watching TikToks, watching this. Um, I couldn't eat. It was a tough time. Tough time to plus. Um, but I came out. I came out strong. I'm still standing right now. Uh, yeah, but right now mentally I'm at a secure space right now. So that's my absence currently. My absence is just it's not really my fault, but also something I had to do for myself. Okay. We are going into Q and A part of this video. So what I've done is I went on not gonna not gonna lie NGL app. I went people ask me questions on there, and I pretty much got a lot. I can say I got a lot. I opened, I opened like two because I was just curious. But wow, 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 wow. So I think we can begin with the Q&A part of this video. These video, I asked, so what I said is send me anonymous messages. So much I don't know what I'm gonna, gonna say, but I put them here or here. I should have phrased this thing properly actually and said ask me Q&A things, ask me anything about me Maybe That's anonymous messages What's that? <laughs> Question <laughs> Question is Is the earth flat? No, it's round guys How is it flat? It doesn't make sense to you The worst trouble you got into as a kid <laughs> you see, 
the blinds, right? Do you see it? Blinds, those ones that have like those things in the middle of a string, right? So me being me as a kid, I like playing with lighters and fire. Love this doll today. So I took Carmen's lighter, my uncle's lighter actually, and I just was playing with it. Then I see, I wanted to see what happened to the string if I burn it. You know, curious George in the herbs. I light, I, I lit the lighter and then ate the thingy birds. So it just, it just wasn't holding anymore. So it just went. I don't know. It, there was an upside after that. The one, um, blanca, the one wood. And then when I saw it, and then got a beating with my lifetime. Um. Do you know about the man, the man, the Mandela effect? I've heard of the Mandela effect. Guys, like, why do you think guys just talk about this? I should ask them about me, but it's fine. Um, it's fine, but Mandela effect. I do know about it. I've heard about it. Uh, do I believe in it? Kind of. I haven't gone in depth research on it, but I've seen certain things that are just like, you know, meaning of life. The meaning of life for me, um, I don't say that I have meaning, but I have like a, the way, I, the way I, I, I have a perspective on it. For me, I believe we are in a, and you know the, the game episode? I feel like we're in an episode game. And we, even though we choose our own outcomes, I feel that we still get chosen our outcomes. I don't know if I'm trying to make any sense because God made us, right? And He knows the plan. There's the God's will that we all know. Like for each and every person, there's a plan that He has made for you, right? So everything out, everything is already written of how the life might will go was at least already made before you were born so that's how i see it so when we get when we when we when we are, when we are living in the simulation the game episodes we're going about choosing our own thing but we are subconsciously already being chosen we are he's clicking the three options already saying say this rather or say this rather or do this, walk like this, do that. He's already, he's playing the game. So I believe there's someone playing the game, episodes right now, who is controlling everyone in the, in the world, you know, who's playing an episode game. I feel that, that's how I see it. The meaning of it, it's about, I don't know how to say it, but see, f mm, mm, I don't know about that, but I think I'll, I'll write it down. I'll type it out when I'm editing, then you just go, we'll just read. Oh, actually, nice question. Spill hmm. the tea on your first kiss, never had one. Cut the carrots! <laughs> <laughs>